are some of the key features of ECDIS. There are two different um, display options. Number one is standard display and number two is base display. So, if we're going to choose the standard display, all you have to do is drag your mouse to the toolbar panel and choose the STD symbol, which means standard display, and you can now see all the information including the depth and the obstruction. Selecting areas in the chart, for example, you want to go in a certain place or port, you're just going to save that place or that area, and once you're done with the chart, um, go to the toolbar panel and select the select area and you will easily directed on that position and you can now create your waypoint the next one is for the characteristics of your bezel as per ship's particular you can put information of your bezel using the ship's particular tab Next is changing your ECD scale. All you have to do is drag your cursor to the upper left of the screen where the toolbar panel is located. Then click on the plus and minus um, symbol to zoom in and zoom out your screen. Mm, a better understanding of ECDIS safety setting and their proper use can act as a potential barrier to the grounding of ships in any untoward situation. Also, proficiency in the use of ECDIS can be attained only through a practice and serious effort of the navigator to learn the proper way of using the ECDIS. Knowing the capabilities and limitations of the equipment and most of all not over-relying on it, it should be borne in mind that automation like, like ECDIS is not perfect. Everyone using it should be um, should verify and uh, should verify and cross check any um, information provided by the equipment. 